The budget you see in front of you uh, represents a 1.33 percent increase over last year's, and uh, this the only lines that have changed in any way are the first two, which are regular wages and part-time wages, and uh, those are reflecting salary increases that were effective April 1 of uh, 2016 that the board granted um, across the board to non-union personnel. Uh, the department uh, continues to have a uh, significant um, load of litigation cases, uh, both cases that we uh, manage ourselves and cases that we supervise outside counsel's handling and oversee that. And uh, we continue to have a challenge of uh, fairly large tax abatement cases to deal with. Um, last year, we settled uh, a number of those cases, uh, resulting in savings of over $600,000 over what was claimed, um, that in conjunction with the tax assessor. And um, we also have uh, cases that uh, result in uh, negotiation of the five collective bargaining agreements last year, and we continue to serve as the legal counsel to the um, the team, the very capable team of three that are handling collective bargaining agreements again this year, uh, saving uh, last year, saving $35,000 of outside counsel fees. And uh, as a result, we've reduced, uh, as of last year, the amount in, in the budget uh, for that purpose uh, down to uh, budgeting $10,000 as a contingency. Uh, so. Uh, we continue to serve the town in ways that are unseen uh, in a preventative way, uh, preventing litigation before it happens, and uh, dealing with things from an inside role, which is uh, a, a unique position to be in, um, dealing with things as they occur rather than after the fact, which is a, a big advantage when you're trying to uh, avoid much more expensive routes. Thank you. Questions? Um, I don't have any questions on the budget, but I just want to think, say 100% agree with you. You're very proactive, and I think that's definitely a huge benefit to the town, having it to have as inside legal counsel. Thank you. Um, yeah, Mark, good job. I mean, you, we're saving a lot of money on, on, on the collective bargaining costs. I'm not going to outside counsel, using the in-house in people, I think, which is, and I think it's much better for us. I think it's much better. You, you, you know what's going on in town. It works much better. Uh, the other thing is I know that you're working, you know, collaboratively with the assessing department, you know, and getting the appropriate money that we should be getting <coughs> from the utilities and going after those proactively, which is very, very important, uh, and especially with some new stuff coming up from the state that we're on top of that. Uh, you work with the planning board really well, and you know it, it's good. And we got a lot of issues up there on Liberty Lane that we're dealing with, and uh, you know, so I, th I think right now, again, for the productivity we're getting out of what we're spending, is good, is great. Thank you. Bill, well, may I defer to Mr. Griffin? I feel bad that he's <laughs> oh, I'm so always <laughs> batting last. <laughs> That's okay. Um, thank you, Mark. We appreciate it. you uh got your hands in a lot of different baskets, and you seem to be right on top of it. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Esquire, uh, it, it's, it's really uh, nice to showcase uh, the department heads that come in here this evening uh, um, that have worked so extraordinarily for the town uh, under Mr. Welch's leadership, and uh, there really is a, a, a real synergy and there's a real battle rhythm that's uh, transpired in the last several years. And uh, um, Mark, you're a big part of that. And uh, the juxtaposition or the, the ability to look at this uh, MS-535 uh, that's submitted to Concord, which is revenues and expenditures, uh, and not to be redundant, but the extraordinary value of real estate, um, the number of people in this town. Uh, and you really are the council when it's town council. You have 15,000 clients. Uh, that doesn't count the tourists that come into this town and move through our AO, our area of operation. Um, so it's hundreds of thousands. Uh, there's huge, huge uh, festivities that go on, and you supervise that. And from the sublime to the ridiculous, you're involved in everything from Aquarian to the Public Utilities Commission to testifying before the New Hampshire House, 
before testifying before the New Hampshire uh, Senate. And uh, Jim rightly talks about uh, the utilities challenges we have, where our tax base is devalued in favor of these folks, and you've, you've been a real champion for that. Uh, your department is light. You've in-house the uh, negotiations, um, your BTLA work, uh, your negotiations, your personnel, your counsel to this board um, has been extraordinary. And, and when we talk about $3.6 billion, uh, that gets spread over a lot of people. And under Mr. Welcher's leadership, and your in ensuring that the town of Hampton is, is fairly and equitably adhering to law, um, you have no peer. So thank you very much, and thanks for a great budget. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.